on the long list of Canadian governmental plans to destroy Indigenous culture after the colonization of North America, the Indian Act stands out as one of the most divisive. Created in 1876, the Indian Act's rigid policies gave the federal government power through policy to do away with the tribal system and assimilate Indigenous peoples in all aspects with the other inhabitants in Canada. So the Indian Act, uh, a colonial piece of legislation, has been around for a very long time. The Indian Act defines what uh, a reserve is and also talks about who an Indian is. Through the authority of the Indian Act, the role of distribution of land, replacing traditional names and altering traditional hereditary forms of governments were initially part of the government policy. Fortunately, many of these practices have since been amended. That's uh, one of the other elements of the Indian Act that had existed previously uh, that clearly, you know, suppressed our people and uh, created lots of problems. However, the regressive and paternalistic policies within the Indian Act still remain, in various forms, and makes it difficult and in many ways almost impossible for First Nations people to live, work, and exist without strife. There's a section as well that talks about seizure on reserve too. And I think that, in, that provision of the Indian Act uh, has, again, some perhaps positive implications, meaning that you can't, your property cannot be taken from you as an Indian, but also has a negative as well. You know, if you're a business person or you want to uh, get a mortgage on your home or borrow money, uh, they say, where do you live? They so live on Akwesasne, which is covered by, you know, the Indian Reserve. They say, well, unfortunately, we can't loan you money. With the creation of the reserve system and the introduction of Indian residential schools to forbidding First Nations from speaking their indigenous languages and culture, the Indian Act has been widely attacked and criticized due to the fact that it is discriminatory and an affront to our basic human rights. Earlier versions of the Indian Act uh, prohibited our practice of our, our, our culture and our languages and our uh, ceremonies. We still continue to practice our culture very strongly. Our ceremonies are, are done regularly here in our community, uh, regardless of the influence of uh, external uh, legislation. The Indian Act has been a lightning rod of controversy over the years, especially with the recent residential school tragedies and government inaction on the issues of missing and murdered Indigenous women and girls. It has been a wake-up call to the harsh realities that continue to be enforced by the Indian Act. There was no other race in Canada or any other community in Canada uh, that had to get permission to leave their community. In uh, what you know would be considered a free will uh, country, um, the Indians didn't have that. The 94 calls to action, and most recently the recovery of, of the lost children uh, through the Indian residential schools, day school settlements that have uh, been announced as well. It really is about uh, Canadians getting a wake-up call. And this was the policy of the governments uh, to, to annihilate the Indians and to take the cultural aspect of the, the Aboriginal people and, and abolish that, and make them regular, uh, you know, Europeans. The Indian Act imposed great personal and cultural tragedy on First Nation communities. And even with amendments, it still stands as a symbol of prejudice and discrimination. Conversely, our Indigenous nations continue to persevere and to exercise resilience in defending our inherent and Indigenous rights. It's a step in the right direction. We've always exercised our jurisdiction and our inherent rights, right? And the Constitution talks about uh, the Aboriginal rights being recognized and, and reaffirmed. The circle of 50 chiefs and being enshrined in, in the United States uh, Constitution really speaks to how uh, the governance system of our people prior to contact was a system that worked very well. And I think that, you know, it's important for our younger youth to understand all of those aspects as well.